garbage sorting is not new to people in Beijing, but a set of mandatory rules put in place on Friday will change habits in a profound way. Four colored trash bins correspond with required categories: kitchen waste, recyclables, hazardous refuse, and residual waste. The rules are simple, but some need a bit explanation. Oh. I today brought some this this electric power. You see, should be in which recycling bin? If our house has that kind of electric power, and some electric power outlets, you can use those. Those are the ones we have to throw away. You can throw them in the red bin. Okay, we should throw them in the red bin. Those who fail to sort trash properly may face fines up to 200 yuan. That amount could go up to 50,000 yuan for a work unit. A guideline was released earlier to advise residents to separate waste with bins and bags. The most important job we are doing now is hiring some volunteers to get the information out and to teach garbage sorting skills in our communities. They really wish to share their experiences. Good ideas and practices are promoted in many communities to let people truly understand why the rules are necessary. Kitchen waste can even be processed within the community, reducing the burden of garbage treatment. Other garbage, hazardous or recyclable, will be carried away, while kitchen waste will be used as fertilizing to grow flowers. And the garbage separation rules play other important roles. This is a waste treatment plant in Beijing. The workers here say the new garbage sorting measures bring them a lot of convenience. Many said. Issuing mandatory rules is important, but the awareness for a greener environment is even more important. And Beijing is also piloting a non-waste lifestyle together with other cities in China, calling on people to first produce less waste. That will be the top priority for environmental protection in upcoming days. Zheng Yibing, CGTN, Beijing.